Hey, this is Paul from Mobile Trans Wondershare, and in today's video, we're gonna show you four different methods on how to back up your data from your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. But before we start, why not subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss a video that we upload. Let's just jump straight in to that first method. And that first method is using the Mobile Trans software. So make sure you grab your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, connect it to your computer, and then go ahead and open that Mobile Trans software. And once you have opened that Mobile Trans software, just go ahead and click on that backup module that you see in the top right corner. After the completion of the first process, then Mobile Trans will go ahead and automatically load all of the data that is on your phone and put it into different categories. Mobile Trans supports different file types on both Android and iPhone, but as soon as all of those have been up on your screen and shown to you automatically, all you need to do here is click the ones that you want to back up. In fact, you might as well just click all of them, then click Start, and that will begin the process of backing up all of your data. All you need to do once you've actually clicked the Start button is sit back and relax until the process has been completed. Then once that process is done, all of your data from your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra will now have moved over and backed up to your computer. Okay, so with method two, this is using Google Drive. Just something to note before we start with this process is that if you are on a higher version of Android and you back up your phone using that higher version of Android, you then can't restore it to a lower version of Android. So Android 10 backups cannot be restored to Android 9. So that's just something to note before we carry on with this process. But no matter what Android phone that you tend to buy at the moment, no matter what brand it is, they all seem to come with that Google apps pre-installed onto their phone. So things like Gmail and the Google search engine, they're already on the phone. And Google Drive gives you that option to back up a load of your data from your Samsung phone. So that would be photos, music, apps, data, pretty much everything that you have on your Samsung phone, you can back that up to Google Drive. The next part of the video though only applies to that standard home screen setup and the standard mode. Right, so let's tell you how to do this. So first of all, go into your settings. Once in those settings, go to accounts and backup, and then backup and restore. From the Google account section here, you can actually choose to toggle that button that you can see on or off. And make sure, once you've done the above, that you actually select the right Google account that you want to back up your data to. To change the account that you're backing up your data to, just tap on Backup Account. So then select the preferred account, and then here, this is where you can select Automatic Backup on or off. The previous backup data is then gonna be restored once you've added that Google account to your phone. You can do this in a brand new phone, a phone that you're already using, or a phone that's already been reset. So, moving on to method three, and that's to use the Samsung Drive option to back up your data. I'll show you, first of all, how you can manually back up your data using Samsung Drive. So the first thing here you need to do is go into your settings, tap accounts and backup, then after that, tap on Samsung Cloud. Then just scroll down and click back up this phone. Then on this next screen, all you then have to do is go through and tap all the data that you want to back up. In some cases, it's easier just to tap back up all or select all, and then you have everything that will be backed up. Once you've selected that data, just hit back up now, and then that is complete. This next part is how to automatically back up your data. And to do this, it means that it will back up your data every 24 hours. But for that to happen, you need to make sure that your phone is connected to power and is also connected to a stable Wi-Fi network. And for at least an hour, you need to make sure that your phone screen is off. So if you plug this in overnight, then that is probably the best option to back up all of your files. And what files back up are completely up to you. Step one is the same as before. Go into settings, select backup and accounts, and then click on Samsung Cloud. Here, you then need to click on more options and then tap on settings. After that, tap on sync and auto backup settings, then select that auto backup tab. And just remember here, if your Samsung Cloud Drive is full, then your data won't automatically back up. And now finally for method four, it's actually something that we've introduced you to before on the channel, and that is to back up your data using Smart Switch. And the good thing about Samsung Smart Switch is that it doesn't just back up your data to your PC or your Mac. What it can actually do is help you transfer data from one Galaxy phone to another. And if this is a video that you would be interested in seeing, just click in the top right corner now, 
There you go, where you can see a card and that will take you to that full video. There you go, a couple of different methods on how you can back up your data from your Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Let us know in the comments which one of these options has helped you back up your data. Drop a like on the video as well. Also, you might have noticed there's a QR code there behind me as well. So why not give that a scan and see what happens with that. Thank you very much for watching and then we'll see you on the next video.